I am. Uh, this video is going to be about the so-called shadow self. Um, I know there's lots of ideas, I guess, around or in history about what you would call the shadow self. I guess they all apply to an extent, but I'm going to try to break it down. Well, yeah. Uh, basically... I was walking down the road and, you know, it was a little bit of a longer walk that day. It just kind of happened to, uh, at first I was a little like, man, I don't want to walk home, but I guess that's what I'm going to have to do. You know, something told me I should just walk home that day. Sure enough, I started walking down the road. I got the sun to my left side. I got the cars and the road to my right side. Now the sun is over here as the source of the light, the source of the luminescence, all like that, hits me and then casts a shadow to my right side. Um, and for some reason I just started walking with my shadow. I just started just kind of staring at my shadow. And... A lot of realizations started to come, a lot of information about my relationship to my shadow and how that applies to the all. Um, and since this is the lowest of the low, it's duality. So you got the source so bright you can't look at it, you know, over here the sun. And then you got the shadow on the other side, that's the other extreme, so dark that you can't it's, there's there's no contrast. It's just light, all light, or all dark. And what's in the middle is myself, uh, a manifestation of both. Because without me standing here, there wouldn't be... It's like, you see, it's like this and this created me. I was in the middle. So I'm like the gray area. Um... Well, yeah, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, I want to go into it. Just whatever. Whatever. Um, okay, so how I want to start with this. Okay, so your shadow, I guess I'll start here. Your shadow is yourself. Your shadow is yourself. It's something that you can see and study and see. And because it's because you're so low and you have no perspective, you look at your shadow and you just have all these rationalizations about it, but none of them is really true. What's really true is that your shadow is literally you. It's literally you. It, it's, like, it's like you think because some scientist told you you have a brain and you have this and that and these electrical impulses and yada, 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 that that's the reason why you can think and that's the reason why you can have an experience and that's, the, that's not true. It's true, but it's not true. Your shadow also has an experience, it has an experience, but you believe some other stuff about it. Like your shadow, it believe it. Or I won't say that necessarily. Some shadows can believe that they're the one actually doing everything, even though it's like you're kind of the puppeteer, kind of like, you know, you, you move and your shadow moves. Your shadow will believe that it's the one doing it. it, it it'll have its own rationalizations about why it's doing what it's doing. But. It's doing exactly what you are doing, but it believes it can believe in separation. It can believe that there is no source of its existence, that it doesn't it doesn't see that this body is the one that's casting the shadow. It doesn't see the whole system behind it that created it in the first place. It believes, nope, this is all that there is, and I'm just going to go around and yada, yada, yada. And if it believes it can get hit by a car, then it can get hit by a car. If it believes, whatever it believes, it will be its experience because it'll attract it to itself. But at certain times in the cycle, check this out. You know how we're going into a galactic day, the son of man returning, all like that, right? So every 26,000 years. It's the same cycle on the earth when with the 24 hours. So in the beginning of the day at sunrise, when the sun just came out the womb or just came out the, the darkness, you cast a very long shadow. It's like the sun will be way over here and the shadow will be as long as it possibly can be as soon as the earth hits the other side or the sun is on the other side. 
Um, so you can really see your shadow at that point. Your shadow is very large. It's very obvious. It's like, there it is. You don't, you might, you might be so unconscious that you look at it and you just say, you, you rationalize what you think it is, but that's yourself. Literally everything you do, it does. That's yourself. There's no separation. It's connected right to you. It comes from you and it goes up. It's you. It's you, literally you. Technically, everything is literally you. Everything you can see and experience is the same thing. But it's like, this is like breaking it down to the bare, like, obviously it's connected. It does everything you do, every movement you do. It's you. So at the beginning of the cycle, you can see yourself very well, right? As the start, as the cycle starts to progress, you say you get to like about noon and the sun's right above you. So your shadow kind of disappears. It's like there's a part in the cycle where you lose yourself. It's like, so at the beginning, you knew yourself. It's like you're a child. It's like how they say the child is connected to the spiritual realm so it can still see things. It can, that's why they got to calcify them real quick with all these cartoons and sugar snacks and all like that because they're, the, the children are connected to the spiritual realm because they just left. It's like they just started in the cycle so they can see themselves very clearly because they, they're, they're sunrise. They just rose. So they have a very long self. Does that make sense? It's like they have a very long self. But as they grow older, nah, 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 boom, it's like, let's say they become an adult. It's like they lose themselves. It's like they don't see their shadow anymore, so they forget that they're connected. They for, it's like they don't have no perspective anymore. And that's it's, it's okay because it's part of the experience. It's like to realize yourself, you have to forget yourself. Like to be born, you have to die. Like it's to have a rainy day, you got to have a sunny day. It's like, it's, it's all, it's, so it's not a bad thing. It's just something to be aware of. You know, because now we're going to, it's like the sun has, it's the same thing that's happening now. It's like, and so like after, it's like, so after the noon passes, boom, 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 it starts to cast a shadow the other way. So now it's like, it's like the shadow gets bigger. It's like, you might not notice it at first. You might still be, you might still be so caught up in your distractions that you don't even notice your shadow getting bigger. Yourself trying to tell you something like, Hey, look, I'm right here. I'm right here. I'm right here. I'm right here. Just keep going. Keep going until it gets to the point where you're old and you're all, you know, wrinkly and all like that. And then you die. So it's like, it's like the children spent the nine months in the womb before they got here. So they were in darkness. And when you die, you go right back into the womb. You go right back into the womb. And depending on your vibration, that's going to be time where you become born again. It's like where you, where your spirit gets reborn is where. So like if you're in, in the, the earthly cycle and you still got karma, you still got lessons or whatever, you're just going to get born into it. It's like, you're going to spend some time in the darkness so you're going to go right back to the darkness. That's You can see yourself. So even if you're old and you see your shadow, it's like it doesn't matter because you're going right back to the womb. So you must see yourself. When you die, you will see yourself. You will see yourself. However you can see yourself, you will see yourself. Whatever you have sown, that's what you'll reap when you die. So you will see yourself and then you'll forget again. Unless, you know, your spirit bounces itself out and gets rid of a lot of this other nonsense and it can maybe it can remember itself as soon as it gets reborn again it remembers itself and it never forgets because it never does any of the stuff that gets it disconnected it doesn't have that negative karma um everything it does is in harmony so it's good um it's like what else um shadow self um basically your higher self's relationship to you is the exact same relationship that you have with your shadow so it's like your higher self to an extent is it's like you can't do anything. And this is this is where, you know, this video gets kind of like, I don't want to say dangerous or, you know, whatever. But it's like not everybody's shadow master is so-called good. So if you start connecting to this puppet master, it might not be who you think it is or who you would like it to be. And they will play the fuck out of you. <laughs> on some real shit they will play the fuck out of you so just be i mean i don't i don't want to say I'm, I'm just giving that as a you know it's possible you know if you have fallen in the past that puppet master is already fallen because it's in the future so it's going to try to get you to fall too just saying so you know if just know yourself and connect at your own risk let's say that because it's like you i don't want to get into this because it gets too complicated but you sometimes you got to just i'm not going to get into it hopefully if you're watching this video whoever you're connecting to is going to be good but you know there's a lot of karma that goes into all that so <clears throat> all right damn we're already 10 minutes in the video okay so 
<clears throat> Alright, so you're, it's like your shadow, this reality, everything that you can see is the shadow of the source that's behind you, that comes out that pineal gland that's back there, that's like projecting you as a hologram. So it's like you're the shadow. So it's like it's like you're like the dark, the fourth dimension is like the gray, and the fifth dimension is like the light, if that makes sense. So it's projecting. So it's like it's like you can't it's like you can't just go straight to the light. It's like it doesn't work that way. It's like you gotta meet up in the fourth dimension. So it's like your higher self where that light ship and all that, that'll be in the fourth dimension. So it's like you gotta take a step back in, in the, when you're in the third dimension, you gotta take a step back, meet your higher self in the fourth dimension, because that's like the intermediary. So your higher self will be like, all right, what, it's like you'll project your, an aspect of yourself into the fourth dimension, and your higher self will project a, an aspect of itself into the fourth dimension. But some people's higher self never got to the fifth dimension, so they're just one of these demonic motherfuckers, and you're just gonna connect to them, and they're gonna play the fuck out of you, but I'm just saying. But let's assume that you're good and you got something happening in the fifth dimension. Let's say that. That will project something down to you. It will project something into the fourth dimension. You'll project yourself into the fourth dimension and you'll meet in the fourth dimension. So it's like whatever you're doing, it's like you, it's like you're in tune. It's like, it's like you're, it's like you're synced up with your higher self in the fifth dimension through the fourth dimension. But to do that, you have to take a step back from the shadow. You have to see that everything about this is a shadow and come back into that fourth dimension and become that fourth dimensional being connect sync up so that when the time comes you'll start resonating boom you'll just you'll just sync it's like you can't go from the third to the fifth it doesn't work that way you can't go from the boom third fifth so if you're not connecting to yourself right now in the fourth dimension you're not going to make it you're just not going to make it that's why you always come back inside come back second like when you come back inside it's like you're coming back into the darkness you're coming back into you're taking a step back from all this shit it's like you're detaching from it so it's like you're taking a step back so it's like the source is back here the source is back here projecting all this shit. So picture like a, like a, like let's say you got a source. Let's say you got a, this big source and it's a huge light. And then it got lenses. So it's like a lens, a lens, a lens, a lens, a lens. So it's like the lens will start like, like this and it'll come all the way down like this. So let's say you're all the way down like this. So you can only see a very little bit. It's like you got to flip up one of the lenses. So it'd be like a series of lenses, each one bigger than the last. So it's like, and it projects a light kind of like a, you know, like a prism or it's like, it's like the light will come through and it'll split itself up through the lenses. So you got to flip up a lens. So it's like the lens is cutting off some of the light. So you can't see all of yourself. It's like, you can, it's like, you can't see this little bit of yourself and then see all this of yourself. It'll never work. So you got to just slowly do, 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 do. So it's like, you're just trying to flip up one of those lenses now. So you can see a little bit more of yourself. It's not like you're gonna be able to just jump to the ninth dimension or some shit like that. It's, you know, it doesn't work that way. So it's just like bloop, and you flip up that lens, and you go into the fourth dimension. You're like, oh shit, okay. And then you, you start connecting to it like that, and then eventually you can kick that. Because if you don't process and assimilate and transform and do all like that, it's like if you flip up too many lenses at once, like poof, you just burn up, you just combust. And that's what's gonna happen. A lot of these people out here, they're gonna combust because they're not ready. They have no connection whatsoever, so they're just gonna combust. And it's like, and you see, and you can see, look, it plays out in the real world too, like the real world. It plays out here too. It's like, what are the people, it's like, since they have no spiritual connection, they're trying to have a physical connection. So they're trying to go inside of earth to survive this shit. You see, it's like, they're trying to go inside of earth. They're, they're trying to come back inside too with their underground bases and shit. So they don't get burnt up because they're going to combust. If you're on the surface and you don't have a spiritual connection, you will combust you'll get burnt up so they're trying to like they're like oh shit we don't we can't go inside ourselves because we have no soul so we're we but we still understand spiritual principles so we're gonna go inside of earth literally inside of earth and try to ride out this because as as above so below so everything that's happening in the spiritual dimension is happening in the physical dimension um yeah so yeah 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 15 minutes is never it doesn't seem like it's ever long enough um yeah shadow self well i guess technically i guess i'll probably just have to make another make another one you know i wasn't even gonna make one today but you know someone told me to so here i am um get it i am <laughs> uh that was a bad joke sorry <laughs> okay all right uh yeah i guess i'll come back maybe tomorrow or the next day there's gonna be a lot of information come with the new moon so yeah, stay tuned for that. That'll be good. All right. Bye-bye.